Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Got you an expansion pack that's overdue. Should have done this a while back. Uh, it's for Foggy Mountain Breakdown. I'm going to give you two more breaks and uh, give you a low break and a high break. And if you've done the other one, then they give you three breaks. And with this low break and with this high break, it should give you some ideas and you can start creating your own. So I'll play through the... I'll play through the, the, the high break first, and then, then we'll break it down. And it's it might have a lick or two that's new, and I'll just go through them. So. So there it is. So it starts with a two. So the right hand is going to go two, five, one, five. And so the two is a bend. Two, five, one, five. And it's just a little bend or a choke. It does that two times. And then you take your social finger, put it down at the 11th fret, and you're going to do a double forward or two, one, two, one. Five, two, one, five. And then you're going to come back here to this little triangle position that we used in Cumberland Gap. So it's the index on the second string, eighth, social finger, middle finger on the third string at the ninth, and then your ring finger at the ninth on the first string. And you're going to pinch one and two. And then five, two, one, five, two, one. So that lick sounds like All right, so up to that point you've got bend 5 1 5 2 5 1 5 2 1 2 1 5 2 1 5 pinch 5 2 1 5 2 and then here's our E minor part. Leave that finger down, hit you three, three, one, two, three, then just forward in reverse. Slide this whole shape up to 12. Double forward roll, two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. Slide it back down to the between the dots position, that triangle. That's a pinch on one and two. Five, two, one, five, two, one. E minor thing again. Just hit your third string. Three, one, two, three. Forward and reverse. Back up to 12. A lot of repeating. Fo double forward. Two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. And then back to the between the dots. Five, two, one, five, two. And then we're going to come to the 12th fret D position. Notice I'm not using my pinky, so I'm just at the, with my ring finger on 12 on the first fret, index finger, 10th fret on the second string, social finger on the third fret, 11th, uh, third string, 11th fret. And then I'm going to do a double forward roll, and you can do it off of two. You can do two, one, two, one. <laughs> Five, two, one, five. Or if you want to get fancy, you can go three, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. Either one works. Then back up to this triangle position at 12. Double forward off the second string. Two, one, two, one, five, two, one, five. And then back up here between the dots and pinch. Now we need a G lick. So we're going to pinch. Pinky goes down, so stretch, we use that in Cumberland Gap. Two, one, five, two, three, one. So, so, so pinch, two, one, five, two, three, one. And then you can pinch one and two. So that sounds like... And that 
time I just hit it with the thumb on two, which works as well. Your choice. Alrighty, so here's the low break. Let me play through it for you. starts with a uh, a slide from two to five on the fourth string and it's a basically it's a four pinch so pinch three pinch and then a one two one five two one five and that two is hammered from two to three so one two one five two one five so that sounds like And it's a pull off on from three to two on the third string and then you're gonna slide from three to five or two to five your choice with a forward roll so it's gonna four, three, one, five, three, one. and then cripple creek just a standard alternate roll pull off three two three Grab your E minor, four, one, two, three. Gonna do a forward in reverse off the fourth string with a hammer. And then we do our G lick that we used in the first part of the song. Five, three, one, five, three, one. So all of that that part of the E minor is real similar to what we did in the first part. Now the second time we do this E minor, and you can use this E minor lick pretty much anywhere you want to in an E minor, and it it's an alternating roll, but it's uh, but we're not going to use the fifth string. So the pattern, I'll call you the right hand pattern, and then I'll tell you what we're doing on the left hand. So it sounds like four, two, three. So it's hammer, and then it's pull off on three, three, two, four, one, and then it does it again, three, two, four, one, and the, does the hammer off the four, four, two, three, one, so it's hammer, pull off, pull off, hammer, and then it's a, it's a, just a G lick. That's just three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one, three, five, three, one, five, three, one. And then our tag on the end, which is the four, one, one. We've done that in the other one. So four, one, one, hammer, five, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. And then we can put a G lick on the end. So that break sounds like all that together now we will do our original our original break that you learned in the other video and then we'll do the low break that I just taught you and then the high break and I'll I'll kind of go slow so you can figure out what's going on so here's our original break with a kickoff
So there you go, folks. It's not perfect. It's not going to be. I mean, I could go back and play it again, maybe play it again, and I'll put mistakes in different places. But the idea is just to, just to try this thing and, and stick you some breaks together, and when you play it with your friends, and nobody's going to know about those mistakes but you. And just just play there. That's part of the process. So y'all y'all be sure to subscribe and check out the other videos and tell your friends and tell your neighbors. We'll see you next time.